What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Falls. You're back at it again with another video. And today, as you can see from the title, I've done it. I secured the bag. The Eagle has landed. I got the Xbox Series X, finally. So, um, before we get started with the video, I just want to quickly let you guys know um, I do have a website. It's justicefalls.com. Go on there for my latest and greatest content, my merch, things of that nature. Check it out. But, um, we're going to first talk about uh, how I got it. So the plug that I have is this guy named Matt Sw Matt Swider on Twitter. Um, I followed him probably two weeks ago, and the first day that I followed him, I was, I was able to I was able to secure the bundle, the Xbox Series X bundle from GameStop. It was very expensive. It was like seven hundred some dollars because it came with a headset. It came with Madden Madden um, Next Level Edition. Um, it came with it and it came with an extra controller it came with a $20 gift card and a three-month subscription to uh, Game Pass I gave away the Game Pass um, Subscription and uh, and I used the $20 card to buy uh, Actually to buy a ps5 game because that's what I'm gonna be talking about next so um, this guy is dope like he gets up early in the morning every day to help people get PS5s. People win every day. Probably not all his followers. He has like 100K followers. His followers keep going up. But the first day I was able to get it. After I had given up. I had given up initially. But um, with his help, I was able to I was able to finally um, to finally secure it. And uh, shortly after, a few days ago, I was able to get a PS5. The PS5 is not gonna be here till, a till April. I got it from Walmart. Um, but yeah, if you just stay diligent, and you go to that guy's page you, you gotta you do gotta get up early so if you you know i work from home so i can get up early and i could just sit at my computer and check it out but like even if you're at work like go go on twitter check it out have your car information already and save to the profile to your profile at all of these sites because i'm pretty sure you already have it because you already shop at these places like target best buy walmart things of that nature um his site tech radar and this other site called tom's guide has a list of preferred retailers to um to get these um consoles and a lot of the consoles um sell out quick but the bundles usually stay in stock long, longer so that would be my suggestion go for the bundles if you don't mind spending spending a few extra cash but you don't want to go to like a stock x because stock x they only have um the console and they're selling it for 50 percent more than what it costs so at least if you're going to spend seven seven hundred to eight hundred dollars at least get bang for your buck at least get some extra with it you know that's how i figured that's how i looked at the situation with the xbox but the ps5 i was able to get just a regular retail version of it for for 500 plus whatever taxes and that should be here on april 13th i will be doing a video for that but um without further ado let's get to the unboxing What's good, YouTube? It's Bridges Falls. This is the uh, unboxing portion of the video. So, we ain't wasting no time. Uh, so, as I was saying before, I got the bundle. Uh, I got the Xbox One, a uh, Xbox uh, Series X. Um, and it came with a few things. So, matter of fact, we're going to just unbox the, um, the other stuff first. So first, it, it, um, it came with this headset, um, it, which is the uh, LS10X. I think the company's name is Lucid. Yeah, Lucid Sounds. You can see that right there. Um, I looked at some reviews for this headset, and it's actually pretty good. I'm surprised that um, I'm surprised that it uh, is actually being an older headset, but it's still useful. Now I'm trying to see how I'm gonna open this. Without tearing the box open. Oh, okay, so you open it from the bottom. Cause I'm gonna be packing this back up. Cause I wanted to wait till my PS5 came to do this, but it's not gonna. My PS5 is not gonna come until um, what you call it, till April. So I figured I'd just do the Xbox One now, put everything back in the box, and then you know do like uh do the video i originally planned to do with both consoles later on so um i hate taking off these stickers where they 
tape it to the side like because i don't want to mess up the box because i'm trying to keep every box that i get because i am moving soon from this location so i want to um keep all the boxes i have intact but these these this this tape that they put on these things makes that very difficult yeah so anywho um got my knife i was saying i hate these uh the way they tape these boxes i know it has to be secure but god damn <laughs> so let's get this open it's taking me long enough um yeah i was looking at the reviews for this headset it has like some pretty cool features um i can't wait to show you so what is this what is this this looks like some type of clip to keep it clipped on or something i don't know and this is this is the detachable mic. The one of the first features that I think is pretty dope is that um, this this um, mic can detach, and um, it has this mic. This headset has an internal mic as well as this mic. And the guy that I watched the review that I watched, like his 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 um, audio, he tested it against like other like top headsets and stuff like that. And this the audio from this is from this mic this little mic right here is awesome like it's way better and like I'm a musician and I'm an audio engineer so I know audio so I know audio better than probably most of you watching this video right now because y'all you know you came to this channel for gaming so you know but I know audio so this um headset uh comes with an internal mic as well as a, a separate mic so um I didn't know it came like this though Oh, this is the, this is the attached to the controller. So this is the detachable mic. You can put the mic on like so. Just pop that in there. And then when you, when you, um, uh, I believe there's a button you press for when you uh, want to mute. You, you want to mute your mic? Yeah, actually it's on the side. So this, this thing scrolls. This thing scrolls for volume and stuff. Um, and then when you press it, it mutes, it mutes your mic. So just in case you know you got somebody in the background you need to talk to, or you want to talk about something in private that you know you don't want to have on chat. I mean, or on your stream or anything like that. So that's what that's for. Um, there's a little instruction manual that explains everything I just said. But the audio, like I was saying, is very crisp on this thing. So um, the build quality, not amazing. Um, the guy, the guy that I was looking at the review of, he said that. Um, your ears will get a little sweaty after a while. These this, these cushions aren't breathable, but it does feel comfortable. And I can kind of tell where they slacked on on a design to make this to make this uh, affordable. Cause this is this this by itself was like under a hundred dollars, I believe. So I could tell where they slacked at. Um, but it, I mean, this is something you're gonna have in the house. You're not gonna be going all around taking it outside. Unless, but you can take it outside if you want. And just use that as a regular headset because it has a regular 3.5 millimeter. You can do that if you want, but most of you probably gonna be using this for gaming because you probably already have headphones that came with your phone or whatever you use to listen to music while you want to go. So that's the headset. I'm gonna put this stuff back in here. I want to preserve it. I still don't know what this is. Probably a little clip or something like that. But then the instruction book. I'm gonna just slide this back in here. Oh, wait, what's in here? Do not return this product to the store. Contact Lucid Sound first. I doubt I have to return it. As long as it works, I don't really care. I'm not really big on um, uh, like gaming headsets because I mean, the headphones I use to um, when I record music are way better than headphones like this anyway. Again, I had to buy the bundle. There was only a bundle left when I went to get this Xbox, so it came with these headphones. So I'm gonna use them. I'm not gonna let them go to waste. And if they're trash, then I'm then I'll sell them. But like I said, I'll do my, do my little research and these these um, headphones sound amazing. So next, we got a, um, real quick, we just got Madden. The, um, I think, what, what edition is this? What comes with it? Next level edition. So it comes with extra content. You know, it's optimized for Series X as you see. Um, this is the next gen version, so you know I don't I don't know I don't know who's uh who's been playing it, but you know from what I've seen, like these guys are like guys are like slamming this game, 
you know, but it's Madden. Like, you know, it, it's at this point, it's Madden. You know what you buying. You pretty much know what you buying at this point. Like, you know, it ain't gonna be the best football simulation, you know, until you know some other companies can start making football games like 2K. But it's just it's, it's Madden. It's Madden. You know what I'm saying? Next level edition. Again, this came with this. Had I had I just got the Xbox by itself, would this be a game I bought? No, because I have this on PS4 already. And that one, that 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 version of this, eh, you know. I just play it to play with friends. You know, Madden is a game you play with your boys, talk some crap, and then you know, then you put it away. You don't play it, and you don't ever really play it again to the next one, unless you're a Madden content creator. In which case, you'll probably just make a bunch of videos complaining about how much the game sucks. <laughs> so. um yeah, so moving on, we got the extra controller. So there's gonna be a controller in the Xbox. I'm pretty sure you can see it right here, the, the main event. But this is how a controller would come if you buy it separately. These controllers usually run for like, I think 60, I think about the price of a game, like 65, 50 to 65 dollars, depending on where you go. Um, I did a video on the controller comparisons, I bought it. Back when the console, back around the time the consoles first launched, um, I bought the controllers and I did a comparison. So um, I already know what to expect from this. It comes with the controller um, and some batteries right here, as you can see. Underneath here, some manuals and probably like a three-month ticket to for Xbox Game Pass, which I'm gonna show y'all because I have Game Pass already. So whoever's the first person to watch this video, you get to look at this code. I'm gonna. Um, just leave it right here <laughs> and you guys can zoom in and figure that out hopefully it's uh focused i'm just gonna leave it there for a few seconds you can pause the video and zoom in and things of that nature so uh that's the code battery um and the controller so as i told as i said before this controller is actually slightly um smaller by like 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 millimeters smaller than the Xbox series than the Xbox uh, One X controller or the Xbox One controller whatever you want to call it but it has like um it has some extra ridges on the back for for grip con grip control and those same ridges are on the uh, analog sticks and the D pad is way better. But um, a lot of gamers are complaining, and it's a matte finish, but a lot of gamers are complaining that this controller is um, hurting their hands. Um, I guess, um, I did a video on that too. I'll, I'll flash that up on the screen. And uh, people in the comments were saying like, if you have like smaller hands, it hurts. Like to the point of like carpal tunnel. And I'm like, oh, okay. But me, I haven't had an issue with it. I guess if you have bigger hands, you won't have an issue with it, so. Um, the Xbox Series X does work with the Elite Series controller if you have one of those, or the previous Xbox One controller. So, you know, if you don't want to use this one, this brand new one, then you can just go and use the old one. So now the main event, the, what you all came to see, if you don't have one yet. So, um, I spoke about, I spoke about my plug, I gave y'all my plug in the beginning, go check him out, uh, Matt, Matt Swider, whatever his name is, yeah, on Twitter. Um, and tech rate off all of them. That's how I was able to get it. This one is from GameStop again um, And again, I paid a pretty hefty bag. I showed y'all the price that I paid for this But I mean you get what you pay for I pay cash I get money. So There's <laughs> no skin on my back, you know, and you know this income tax checks income tax, It's income tax season anyway, so you know I get my little whack little return that'll that, you know, I put that money right back in my pocket anyway, but I was able to buy this with my little, with my, with my day job money, so I don't really, you know, it ain't really affect me much. So, not to stun on y'all, but I mean, it just is what it is. You feel me? So, boom. I love how this box opens up. I've seen other people's unboxing, and I'm thinking, nah, this is like some promo stuff that Xbox sent them, but no, this is the real deal. This is how they, this is how they ship it to you. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all hit the All-Star Weekend in the back. It's an All-Star Weekend, so I had to catch that. Skills competition is on, so if you hit that in the background, that's what that is. Um, yeah, but I love the packaging on this. It is beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna pull this Xbox out. Um, I'm so excited to finally get my hands on it. This is this is so cool to me. They wrapped it like it's, like it's Christmas or something like that. 
And then with this protective foam in here, and then let's see what it with the instructions it says here. Connect power cord, HDMI, press the Xbox button. Oh, duh. Just how to turn it on, how to put the so this little tag, this little card is just basically how to turn it on and set it up just in case, you know, you're not a gamer, you're getting this for your kid, and you want to set it up for your kid, they don't they don't quite know how to set it up. Uh this comes with an HDMI. Now, um, I'm pretty sure if you're a gamer or if you deal with any type of electronics that connect to TVs, you probably already have an HDMI cable, but you should have always been doing this throughout the generations, but always use the cable that comes provided with the console because it's going to be a more updated cable than you have on your TV right now. So these days, they're doing the um, HDMI 2.0, 2.1. So, your TV might not even have HDMI 2.1. You might have bought it like four or five years ago. I think both my TVs have HDMI 2.1, so I don't have to worry about that. But make sure that your TV is HDMI 2.1 and, and that you use the cable that is provided with your console, whether it's PlayStation, Nintendo Wii, or Xbox, or Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Switch, or, or Xbox Series X or S. Because that's how you will get the full benefit out of your console. That's how you get the full benefit of your $500 that you're spending, all right? So make sure you do that. So that's the um, HDMI cable, HDMI 2.1 cable, and then this is the power cable, simple enough. I'm glad they stopped doing that stupid power brick and they found a way to make the power work more efficiently without the brick. And then um, this is the warrant, limited warranty. And I'm assuming this right here is the controller. Yep, it's the controller. Um, do it come with batteries? Yeah, come with batteries. I'm gonna just open it anyway, just so I could see how it comes. Controller again, you know, standard fare, matte finish with the grips on the back, nothing crazy. Um, now I have three of these controllers, ridiculous, but oh well, so I'll take it. And then uh, the batteries, batteries right here, put them right there. Take this uh, plastic out because it's not going to be moving around much, except for when I put it in the moving truck. But I have the box that it came with, so it'll be all right. It'll be all right. I just want to get rid of all of this useless paper and plastic that I don't need. So I'll put this in this over here. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the Xbox Series X. I was gonna get a series, I'm gonna get a series X S2 and do the comparison, but not right now. Cause I just spent over a thousand getting a PlayStation and the Xbox. So let that I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that marinate for a little bit and get it another time. So this is the Xbox Series X. Next gen of gaming people. This is the next gen of game, and I can't believe, like, I'm so hyped right now, I can't believe I actually have it, but I do have it. It's right here in front of you. The Xbox Series X, bro. Whew. This thing is clean. Matte finish. Um, this is the power button. This is the sliding disc tray. On the back, we have, um, we have two USB 3.0. We have the the um the LAN, the Ethernet. Uh, we have the slot for the storage expansion, which I will be buying. I'll buy the I'm buying the Seagate, um, two terabyte, and then I have an external drive that I'm gonna just use as a pack mule for uh all the other games that I'm not playing. So every game that I'm playing is gonna be in the internal storage on the SSD that's on the motherboard and and on and the um and the expansion. So I'm gonna get two terabytes. Um, that's gonna be my next purchase, actually, an uh, expansion. So, um, cause I need to transfer all of my games over, and right now my Xbox is, it has like two terabytes, cause it has, I think it comes with, I think it came with two terabytes, and I bought a one terabyte, or something like that. I got like two or four, two to four terabytes, but it's all filled up, so I need to transfer everything over to this. But I wanna have the Seagate expansion first. I know it's like 200 something dollars. It's almost the price of a Series S, but, I'm willing to pay the price, so um, uh, I always wanted to just know how the top of it looked. Like, okay, there's like one layer of the black, and then underneath, 
is green. So when you look at it from a certain angle, you can see the green. That's fine. And then I can see that big old fan on the top that sucks the air. No, that pushes the, this is the exhaust on the top. It sucks air through the back and through the bottom. And as you can see, there's holes all through here. Enough ventilation on here. And there's the stand, so you can stand it up like this. It sucks through the air through, exhausted it out of the top. That's why you see people vaping and then they, they sprayed it underneath and then it came through the console to make it look like the console was smoking. But it wasn't. That was just a little prank. Don't believe that. Um, and this is the sync button over here. USB. And then you can either put it like this. You can set it up like this, which is... I mean, I'll probably... I'll probably it depends on like how my setup is when I... Um, when I um, uh, transform my data off. So you can set it up like this on the side, or you can set it up like this. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what you could do. And then like, let's just say your little brother or your little cousin or your mother or somebody put something on top of here, like put a piece of paper on top of here, causing the exhaust to be uh, flooded. Instead of the heat dissipating back through the console, there's an emergency slot right here where the air can escape from. So. Um, that's not to say put stuff on top of your console, obviously, but it's an emergency measure that they've taken, that Microsoft has taken, just in case somebody, just in case there's poor ventilation on wherever you put it at in your entertainment system. Mine will have plenty of ventilation. Y'all see my setup, it'll have plenty of ventilation, but, um, wow, that's pretty much it. It's, a, it's, it's not that heavy either. It's, um, I would say it's the same weight as the, as the series. Xbox One, Xbox One X, pretty much. But yeah, I'm, I'm so hyped to get this. Um, there will be like a setup, like a setup video soon, like so you can see the interface and stuff like that. But for now, I'm gonna just enjoy this while I wait for my PS5 to come, and then we'll do the PS5 videos. So that's um, that's pretty much it, y'all. Y'all know the vibes already. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy Justice Falls, and we out.